So I bought a bunch of these so I could make a bunch of these. And what makes these unique is they have magnets embedded in there. So these are the magnets we're embedding in here. And to make this job easier, because polarity is important to keep consistent, I made this in Fusion 360, which resulted in this. So let me go back to Fusion 360 and show you. I modeled in a print and place supports. This ring is a support for the chamfered angle here. And you can see the, the four corners are attached to the chamfer. So this will break loose very easy. And then the persuader here I've dubbed him the Persuader because he's going to help act as a tool to break loose the slider, which is going to go up and down, which I will demonstrate next. So the way this comes apart off the build plate is you're going to need some tools. This is going to be movie magic here because I've already broken this one loose. But this ring, you just take a little utility knife and cut the four corners, and then this pops off really easy. And then this was all print in place with a gap in here, and this is a little stuck, so you take the persuader, stick them on top, and there's also a slot to embed one of these magnets, and then you just take your persuasion tool and just give it a couple of light taps, and that breaks the slider loose, and so now we have a mechanism like so, and it's ready for these. So we grab a few magnets, load them from the top, and slide them in. And we got room for a couple more. Push them until they bottom out, remove with the excess. And now you have a magnet dispenser that you can... <laughs> These magnets have a mind of their own sometimes. So the idea behind this was not only to serve as a tool to break the slider loose, but to also allow it to stick to your printer or something else handy, and you can just stick your magnets in there. And if they want to jump out, what that means is you have your polarity wrong, and that's the other main reason I wanted this holder was to get the polarity consistent when I make, when I embed them in the picture frame. So we'll just turn these out, reverse this, slide them back in. It is a snug fit, if which I prefer. And now that acts as a stand, so you can stick that anywhere and it won't, it won't fall off the printer and will even hang upside down. And then the other thing it does, if, if things are really tight, you can use it if, you're, um, if your holder is full. There's, there is a little room here, and you can just put it in there and push it down and pop a couple of magnets off the top. And you've got the slider here to get it started. And then if you push it all the way out, it will always, this little tab prevents it from going all the way to the top. And what that does if you do it right, is it leaves a couple magnets in the chamber so that when you bring in, when you reload it with more from your stock, you can make sure the polarity is correct. And I had that wrong. So we need to turn that around, load it up, and now we're good to go. So that's it. That's my cool magnet holder. I did create a uh, round version that works very well. Um, and I will hopefully get these organized and uploaded to printables.com so that you can try them for yourself. And these magnets, I'll put links to them. They're both the round and the rectangular ones are really inexpensive on Amazon, but they're really great for embedding into your 3D prints and other crafty things that you're up to. That's it. Thanks for watching.